prepare to soar on eagle's wing. Somebody lift your hands to the God who does great things and just bless him and just bless him. Just bless him, bless him, bless him. Hallelujah. What's the video? Can you kill, kill the sound, please? Multimedia, please. Don't worry, we'll go back to this uh, uh, later. Lift your two hands to Jesus all over this place and just bless the name of the Lord. Bless the name of the Lord. Just bless the name of the Lord. Everyone outside, everyone online, and everyone joining from every expression from around the world, I want you to just lift your hands to Jesus at this time and just say, thank you, Jesus. 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 Father, we bless your name. And with a grateful heart, with a song of praise, and with our stretched hand, I bless your name. Somebody who is ready to bless the name of the Lord, lift your hands to him. Hallelujah. And with song of praise, with our strength, I bless your name. Thank you, Lord. Somebody say thank you to him. Thank you, Lord. Grateful heart, come on, everybody. With a grateful heart, with a song of praise, with a loud heart, I bless your name. You know, there was a testimony that we took earlier, especially for people who may just be joining online or people from other centers who may not have listened to the testimony of the sister who came out here and who was summarily kidnapped but escaped death. And she's here today, alive and well. You know, if you are here, you're just, you know, you're just okay and good and alive and well. Sometimes you don't even know what you have escaped. Sometimes you know what you escaped, but you, did not, you, you don't know what could have happened that did not happen. You know, if, if she had gone another route that day, maybe taken another vehicle or something, she, she won't have an idea of what could have happened. But God allowed her to go through that to prove himself as the, 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 you know, the God who preserves. 
the God who can wrought a mighty deliverance. And you know, if somebody like her is singing this song, she probably won't be singing it the way some of us are singing it. Yeah. Maybe not. Somebody else is here tonight. Uh, yours is not about life and death. It's about all you have. Because you may have been broke and flat with nothing right now. But God preserved what he has given you. Some people started this year with a lot. But everything went down. You know, in the story of David and Saul, the Bible described David and Saul. There was a contention between the house of, of David and the household of Saul. And uh, the, the house of David worked stronger and stronger, and the house of Saul works weaker and weaker. Some people started this year strong, but right now everything is down. But some people are here right now. There's so many testimonies that you can share. But when it's time to say thank you on this last day of 2023, that's not the time to be psychedelic. <laughs> Lift your two hands to Jesus. Somebody say thank you, Jesus. Somebody say thank you, Jesus. And we bless your name. We bless your name. Your hands again. Right now, right now, right now, right now, as we preach and teach the word of God, growths are disappearing. In the name of Jesus Christ. For anyone online suffering from any kind of growth, tumor in the brain, growth, you know, in, in, in your heart domain, growth, anything that is not planted by God, and you've been told this will require surgery, as you trust God right now, Lift your two hands, everyone. Say, Father, let your healing power flow over this place. And somebody, all you need to just say is, I receive, I receive, I receive, I receive, I receive, I receive. God kept you alive and it's not for sickness. It's that you will be alive and well. And Jesus is still in the business of healing. Thank you, Jesus. Somebody receive your healing right now. Receive your healing right now. Receive your healing right now. I decree it one more time. That flow of blood that has been consistent, refusing to stop, it stops now in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Wave those hands to him one more time and say, I receive. I receive. I receive. I receive. I receive. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Father, we bless your name. No carryover into 2024. Yes, no carryover into 2024. There are 11th hour miracles happening right now. Right now. Right now. Somebody praying pray the Holy Ghost. Praying the Holy Ghost. Ma prede katoso sopra danga la kata. E brenne loco shuto yende. Ranglo lope teke sise ta kranda nanga dabaya. Rapoto. As we pray here right now, somebody is changing his or her mind about you. As we pray right now, somebody who is not here is changing their mind about you. And it's going to result into a miracle for you. Just that change of mind is going to result into something big for somebody. Yeah. As we pray right here, somebody is remembering you. As we pray right here, right now. Right now, right now. Right now. I hear in my spirit whatever has been delayed that needs to happen before we cross is happening now. Lekato predenga la tuso soto pranda na bosh. Mero do bosa tikando engle kato prandenge lo toko to e brano kolo bosh. Yembro na koto akrande ne de bosh. Thank you Jesus. Prena no mo to paka liketosha. E gledo ko soto he bring the Lord predicate shit ayanda. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. God is planting your name into people's minds. Thank you, Jesus. Let it be, O oh God. Let it be, O oh God. Let it be, O oh God. Let those last minute miracles start to happen. Let those last minute remembrance start to happen. Let those last minute approvals start to happen. 
Thank you, Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Somebody under the influence of my voice, you're going to get the news of an approval. I don't know what it is. The first day of work this, this next year. But that approval happened now. Yeah, it actually just happened now. It takes effect the first day of work. You are coming back to give your testimony. Because somebody remembered you right now. Somebody took it upon themselves right now to do something about it. The moment work resumes this year. So you are coming back to give your testimony. In the name of the Lord Jesus. Wave those hands to the spirit of the living God. Father, we honor you in this place. Everywhere the people are joining this what nice service from, let the same presence that is here, let it rest upon them. Yeah, let it rest atmosphere in that place. In the name of the Lord Jesus. Glory be to Jesus. Very quickly, I have a little time to share. Tonight it's not going to be about uh, plenty of teaching. We have the whole of next year to teach. It's just to prophesy over you. Yeah. Just to prophesy over you. On the wings of the prophetic, the heavens open. Doors open. Things that ordinary ability cannot do, God starts to do. So I want you to be attentive. I want you to be attentive. And I want you to be, you know... <laughs> To, to mean your amen. You know, let it come from your heart. Uh, because something is shifting in the atmosphere for you. Or oh, somebody say, better amen. amen. Exodus 19. And I'll read from verse 4 to 6 of Exodus 19. Verse 4, no, verse 3 to 6. I'll read it from the New Living Translation. Exodus 19 from verse 3 to 6. The Bible says, Then Moses climbed the mountain to appear before God. The Lord called to him from the mountain and said, Give these instructions to the family of Jacob. Announce it to the descendants of Israel. You have seen what I did to the Egyptians. You know how I carried you on eagle's wings and brought you to myself. Now, if you will obey me, and keep my covenant. From among all the people on earth. For all the earth belongs to me. And you will be my kingdom of priests. My holy nation. This is the message you must give to the people of Israel. This is the message that I've come to give to the people of Elevation Church. That 2024 for you, you shall be on eagle's wings. Yeah. That the same way God said here, you, you know, it says in, 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 uh, in verse, uh, can you go back to verse 4 for me? Verse 4, uh, it says, you have seen what I did to the Egyptians. You know how I carried you on eagle's wings and brought you to myself. This is the year where some things will happen and the only way you can explain it is God carried me. Yeah. God carried me. As in, God helped me. God carried me. That's the only way you can explain it. Yeah. God carried me. That's the only way to explain it. Glory be to Jesus. You know, a little study of the ego I realized that the eagle has always symbolized freedom, strength, and power. Freedom, strength, and power. As we go into 2024, please trust God to experience freedom in every area of life. Please trust God for strength where you have been weak before. Because our God is never lacking in strength. And please trust God to walk in power. Some things only yield to the manifestation of power. 
You know, when you talk about how the, the, the world works, some things work on the strength of intellect. Some things work on the strength of connections. Some other things work on the strength of money. You know, so, some, some people, so, someone in this country had once said that what money cannot do, more money will do. Yeah, that sounds like a politician talking, right? Let's leave that for another day. <laughs> but you know where I'm going. A man gets to an end in himself or herself when you come to a place where money loses functionality. There are things in this world that only the power of God can resolve. In 2024, may you gain access to unusual power. Yeah. Oh, somebody say it better, amen. Yeah. So, Isaiah chapter 40, verse 28, down to 31, it says, have you not known, have you not heard, that the everlasting God, the Lord, the creator of the ends of the earth, neither faints nor is weary. Simply put, it's a repository of strength. It does not lose strength. Uh, you know, God does not become weak. He has no need for support or encouragement. That's why we say he's God all by himself. Are you still with me today? So the Bible says, neither faint nor is weary. His understanding is unsearchable. It gives power to the weak. And to those who have no might, it increases strength. As we go into 2024, please understand, God wants to capacitate you. Yeah. His power is available. And if you refuse to play religion, if you refuse to be the kind of Christian who just wants to have fun in the house of God, then you start to appreciate the essence of power and you start to have an encounter with the power of God. That will be your testimony for 2024. Yeah. I said you will encounter the power of God yeah. like never before in the name of Jesus. Yeah. Verse 30 of Isaiah 40, it says, even the youth shall faint and be weary and the young men shall utterly fall. But those who wait on the Lord shall renew their strength. They shall mount up with wings like eagle. You see that again. Say so they shall run and not be weary. They shall walk and not faint. Somebody, the projects ahead of you in 2024 may be those very daunting ones. You know, the time that you get to the middle of it, you ask yourself, who sent me? But if you will choose to meditate on the word that God has given us for 2024, that he wants to carry us on eagle's wings. When you get to those critical juncture, where you're supposed to be doubting, where you're supposed to be wondering who sent me, that's when you remember that you are being carried. <laughs> that you are not on your own, you are just being carried. And if Jehovah carries you, then there's nothing you won't pull through. You will not be stopped in 2024. He will not lose strength in 2024. Yeah. In the name of the Lord Jesus. So our word for 2024 is on eagle's wings. God is carrying us on eagle's wings. And as many as will believe it, you will experience God carrying you on eagle's wings. Yeah. All through the month of January, we're going to speak true what to expect. But I'll just give you in quick snippets. And I'll tell you a few things to beware of. Very quickly. One is that as you stay on eagle's wings, expect a different perspective based on a vantage position. A different perspective that's based on a vantage position. Uh... When you stay <laughs> on the, you know, in IRAS buildings, recently I was on the is it 14th or 15th floor of a building in Victoria Island. 
and I looked out from the window. And I saw some empty plots. If you are driving on the road, if, if you are told that I see empty plots on that street, you will say no. But from that vantage position, I could count like three or four. If I was looking for land in that location, <laughs> if I was driving on the road, I would think there's, there would be nothing like that. But from that vantage position, I could count, I could see. And I was like, wow. And the Holy Spirit started to talk to me to say, look, that's what it means to operate from a higher altitude. You see things that people working on the road cannot see. Yeah. Because life is about perspective. 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 That's why the scripture says, I think Ecclesiastes is 8 and verse 1, who said, who is like a wise man? Who has the understanding of a thing? Understanding there is like, the interpretation, sorry, who is like a wise man? And who knows the interpretation of a thing? Interpretation there talks about perspective. Life is about perspective. A wise man makes, uh, a man's wisdom will make his face to shine and the standards of his face shall, shall be changed. You see, uh, life is heavy on perspective. When you stay on eagle's wings, you will gain perspective about important issues and those perspectives can just change everything. Can change everything. That's one thing that you should look out for. Secondly, when you're on eagle's wings, as you, 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 as you plug in, as we go into 2024, you enjoy divine elevation above obstacles and barriers. There's a level that certain things can stop you. There's another level that some things can no longer stop you. You know, uh, if you live here in Lagos, one of the things that characterize Lagos heavily is traffic. All right? And if you're going from the island to the mainland, it's a different ball game. If you took a, a, a chopper from Victoria Island or Ekoi down to the local airport, uh, you make it in five minutes. Yeah, in five minutes. <laughs> uh, walking on the road is different from flying. Any day. Take it from me, I've experienced it. <laughs> any day, any day. It's different from flying any day. I had an experience uh, here, was it two years ago or so? That I left Lagos in the morning at about 8 a.m. for Uyo, a choir bomb state. And then I left Uyo for Abuja. And then from Abuja to Oweri. And Oweri back to Lagos. And I was in Lagos. I think around 5 p.m. is the operation of private jet. <laughs> that trip, if you want to take it on road, by the time I was back in Lagos, you'll see me on your way to Uyo, where I started from. You understand what I'm saying? Uh -huh. There are certain kind of itinerary that you cannot take on the road because of the obstacles and things you need to maneuver. That if you're at a vantage position, it happens like this. May that be your new position. Yes. <laughs> I said, may that be your new position. Yes. You know, that day I go back to Lagos and I was thinking, ah, so it's possible to live many lifetimes in one life. Yeah. <laughs> there are certain ways you operate that you can live many lives in one because of certain level of operation and the speed with which you can get some things done very quickly. So, I pray over somebody here today. 2024, you will be on ego's wings. Regular obstacles and barriers will not be able to stop you. Somebody here, you are scaling huge barriers. You are doing similar impossible things. Because what stopped you before will not be able to stop you again. In the precious name of Jesus. Number three, speed without exhaustion. A lady came to give her testimony earlier. If you have been hooked online at that time, you will know what I'm talking about. She said she couldn't do anything with her life. 
she suffered from very bad uh, uh, depression. And then she had a baby and then postpartum depression added to it. She couldn't do anything with her life until God intervened. And the last six months of this year, this, this year that, that's wrapping up, you know, right now, she, she told us what she was able to do. There's something about speed without exhaustion. You know, it's, it, it's, it's, uh, it's possible to be exhausted when you are operating at a certain level. The Bible says even the young men can be weary. But those who wait on the Lord shall renew their strength. He said, have you not heard? Did you not? I mean, don't you know that the God, the everlasting God, uh, is never weary? He doesn't lose strength. And he wants us to plug in just like we plug gadgets into the socket. You know, when, you, when a gadget is plugged into the socket, you can use it for a whole day and it will not deplete. Am I saying the truth? Yeah. In fact, when you want to use some gadget consistently, what do you do? You keep them plugged in. And some people here, you just know how to unplug, unplug, unplug. And then you want to still do big things with the way you're unplugging. This 2024, stay plugged in. Just stay plugged in. They that wait upon the Lord, they shall renew their strengths. They shall renew their strength. There shall be speed without exhaustion for you. Yeah. You will enjoy sustained capacity for growth. Yeah. Sustained capacity for wealth. Yeah. Sustained capacity for impact. Yeah. Oh, somebody say it better. Amen. Yeah. The obstacles a certain high altitude when you're on eagle's wing they become strategic advantage for you. Time will not permit me to unpack this. But in the teachings in January, we'll speak to it a bit more. In 2024 and beyond, the winds and the elements will work in your favor. Yeah. Oh, somebody say a better amen. Yeah. I said the elements in the high altitude will work in your favor. Yeah. In the name of the Lord Jesus. When you are on eagle's wings and you're operating at a certain high level also, you gain protection against predators, you know, along the normal route, the normal places that people pass through. And I want to pray for somebody here today as well, that 2024 you enjoy divine protection. Yeah. Also care of the spirit. In 2024, the Holy Spirit, who is carrying you on his wings, will take care of you. Yeah. You know, that lady said, all I was saying is, Holy Spirit, help me. Holy Spirit, help me. Holy Spirit will help somebody here. Yeah. <laughs> Tap your neighbor for me. Say, the Holy Spirit will help you. Will say, in this new year, this new you will not be alone. Not be alone. Say, you will feel the comfort of the Holy Spirit. Say you will be restored by the Holy Spirit. Uh, uh, say the things that you have lost, the Holy Spirit will restore back to you. Tell your neighbor, say you enjoy divine direction by the Holy Spirit. In the name of Jesus. Somebody say better amen to that. Glory be to Jesus. Very quickly, let me just quickly rush through some things that you need to be aware of. I want you to help me look at your neighbor and tell your neighbor, say, 2024, 2024. I'm, free from lack. I'm free from lack. I'm free from sickness. I'm free from sickness. And, nothing and nothing fails around me. Say it again, say, 2024. 2024. I'm free from lack. I'm free from lack. <laughs> say it again, say, 2024. 2024. I'm free from lack. I'm free from, lack. I'm free from sickness. I'm free from sickness. Nothing fails around me. Say 2024. 2024. Say, as for me and my house, and my house we, are we are free from lack. We are free from sickness. Free from sickness. And nothing fails around us. Fails around In the precious name of Jesus. Amen. Somebody say, you better. Amen. Amen. All right. So, these are things to watch out for. Beware. Let me run through this very quickly. And this, if you're not writing before, you may need to write this down. 
or maybe just get this message later. These are just, you know, things to beware of. Let me give you an example of what I'm talking about. Sometimes we feel we're used to certain things. All right? If you're driving on the road, you feel you have mastered all the road signs. Sharp bend. The signage is there. But because you pass that road all the time, after a while you start to feel like I'm used to this road. I don't have to read the road signs again. But from time to time, when you operate in the prophetic, the prophetic is like a signpost on the road that God just wants to bring it to your mind to beware of this so that you don't fall victim. Some of the things I'm talking about right now are things that I'm sure of, as, like I'm sure of my name, that in 2024, people have to be aware of. One, very quickly, is that this is the way it came to me, be aware of the armor of Saul. How do I mean? In 1 Samuel 17, when you read from verse 38, David told Saul, let me go and fight Goliath. And after all the pulling and shoving, Saul agreed that David should fight Goliath. David, by the way, was a young man. Saul was the king of Israel. He had all the armory and everything. And in verse 38, so Saul clothed David with his armor. And he put, he, he put a bronze helmet on his head. And he also clothed him with a coat of mail. David fastened the sword to his armor and tried to walk. For he had not tested them. And David said to Saul, I cannot walk with this, for I have not tested them. So David took them off. I pray for somebody here today. May God lead you to take off things that you should not wear. Yeah. Beware of the armor of Saul. Beware of the armor of Saul. I'm looking at people here right now. Uh, when, you, when you write your CV, we see armor of Saul there. You need to go and remove them. Yeah. Armor of Saul. We can see it in your CV, you know. Some of the things you are trusting on or trusting in to be able to get into what God wants to do for you, there are too many armors of Saul, you know, in, in that scope that need to be removed. Yeah. I don't know who you are, but I'm speaking to you by the Spirit of God. So in 2024, focus on God. Yield to his instruction and go back to the tools he has given you that you have used in time past. You know, David said, no, it's the sling and the stones. I'm used to them. I've used them before. They work. You know, armor of Saul can be, can be many things. But one thing that is guaranteed is that the armor of Saul Cannot, will not allow you to stay on ego's wings. Armor of Saul, for instance, can be deception. In 2024, please beware of wrong doctrines as a Christian. Be like the Berean Christian in Acts 17 and verse 11. Paul was speaking to them as an apostle, but yet they will still go home to check what Paul has said. There are all kinds of funny things on social media, on YouTube. Everybody's looking for clout. So whether it makes sense or not, they just say it. And then you chop it. Yeah. You will not be deceived. Yeah. I said you will not be deceived. Yeah. You know, there are doctrines that are flying all around there. They're like the armor of soul. It won't work for you. Stay with what works. Stay with the word of God. Stay with the word that you have tried, that you have checked out. It's very important. Amos Saul can be on godly networks. For some people here, Amos Saul is idolatry. Somebody's inviting you to come and join a group, join a court, join this, join that. There will never be a time for that in your life. Yeah. Well, can, I say, can I hear a better amen to that? Anything that will take the glory away from God is a muscle. You must walk away. Somebody say a better amen to that. Yeah. 
You know, real hard time is coming upon our world. You may not be able to do anything to avert hard time on our world, but there's something you can do to escape hard time personally. That it will come upon the world, or it has come upon our world, is no longer news. But it will come upon you. You have a choice. Yeah. You will not be able to control what goes on in the world, but you should be able to control what goes on around you. It's very, very important. Let me also add this to it very quickly. In 2024, there will be, you know, this is the way it came to me, and I had to check out the scriptures to just be sure. Evil days, that's what I heard. Evil days, evil days. And I was like, how can I be talking about evil days? And then the Holy Spirit started showing me scriptures to, you know, just to buttress what I'm saying. I mean, the simplest of the scripture is Proverbs 16 and verse 4, where the Bible says, uh, God, something about, uh, you know, the Lord has made all things for himself, even the wicked for the day of doom or day of evil. <laughs> so there's something that is called the day of evil. In King James Version, it's called the day of evil. I see the day of evil multiply in 2024. But the thing is that you and I must escape. Yeah. It's coming upon our world does not mean it must come upon you. Are you still with me today? Yeah. That it's coming upon our world does not mean it must come upon you. It's very important that you have that at the back of your mind. God will safeguard you in the day of evil. Yeah. Ephesians 6, when you, you know, read from uh, uh, verse, verse 12, it talks about putting on the whole armor of God so that you can stand in the day of evil. There's, there's, a, you know, there's, there's a way to position. Yeah. Verse 13 says, Therefore take up the whole armor of God that you may be able to withstand in the evil day. The evil day is the day that orchestrations happen and what is not supposed to happen will happen. Let me give you an example of what I'm talking. It's an evil day when they give somebody the wrong medication that leads to their death. Yeah. I see here the story not too long ago. A young man who had an allergy towards a particular medication and they rushed the young boy to the hospital. They didn't know that he's allergic to that and they gave it to him and that was it. And the situation was supposed to be a minor situation but it became aggravated and the boy passed. That was an evil day. That can be saved. If we position ourselves to hear from God and to walk with God. All I'm saying, please don't get me wrong, is that 2024 is such a year where you and I must position, yeah, must position to escape days of evil. Yeah. Uh, 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 Ephesians 5 and verse 14, the Bible says that, that, that these are days of evil, uh, you know, and that is, therefore it says, awake, you will sleep, arise from the dead, and Christ will give you light. Verse 15 uh, says, so you walk circumspectly, not as fool, but as wife. Wives, verse 16 says, redeeming the time because the days are evil. The days are evil. But I want us to read a scripture together, uh, and I will pause, because we are almost midnight, and then I'll take like five more minutes to, to finish after midnight. Is that okay? All right. Let's read together Job 5 from verse 19. We'll read it all the way to 27. Yeah. We're going to read it together. One, two, go. No evil shall befall me. In famine, I shall be redeemed from death. And in war, from the power of the sword. He said, shall be hidden from the scourge of the tongue and afraid of destruction when it comes. Verse 22, you shall laugh Verse 23, 
the covenant with the stone of the field and the beast of the field shall be at peace with me I shall And verse 25, I shall also know that my descendants shall be many, and my offspring like the grass of the field. Hallelujah. Amen. Verse 26, I shall come to my grave in full old age, and a sheep. So you will not die young. I said you will not die young. In the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Some people are still sitting down. You didn't get the memo. Somebody give somebody a high five. Say Happy New Year from Lagos, Nigeria. Happy New Year from Lagos, Nigeria. Happy New Year from Lagos, Nigeria. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Is somebody happy to see the New Year? I said, are you happy to see the new year? Okay, so this is what I want us to do very quickly. Very quickly. That scripture that we just read right now, we're going to turn it to a confession. I kid you not, this new year, you will escape evil. I said, this new year, you will escape evil. You will always meet your house in peace. There shall be nothing missing, nothing broken. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. So let's go back to Job chapter 5 and verse 19. Now you are going to personalize it. Let this be your first confession in 2024. You personalize it. Say, I, 24, I have more than enough to be a blessing. Say, I have more than enough to give to the needy to give to the kingdom of God to solve problems for other people say 2024 I shall not be stranded in any situation of life I shall not be stranded say 2024 there shall always be a way for me say my God makes a way for me in every area of life, I enjoy unusual open doors in 2024. Say 2024, people remember me for good. Say help, help come to me readily. I do not lack of divine help. In the name of Jesus, say I'm on eagle's wings. I'm soaring at high altitude, far above destruction, far above limitations. Say, I engage divine ideas. I engage higher altitude, high altitude perspective, high altitude solutions. They come to me readily. Say, this is the best year of my life so far. Say it again. Say this is the best year of my life so far. Say I declare it again. This is the best year of my life so far. Say unusual testimonies. Testimonies of increase. Testimonies of multiplication. Testimonies of sound health. Testimonies of divine protection. Say they come to me readily. Say I'm blessed. Bless beyond the curse. Say 2024. I am uncursable. Say it again. Say I'm uncursable. 
say I walk in blessings only. No weapon fashioned or formed against me shall prosper. I walk in the fullness of life. I enjoy divine direction. Confusion is far from me. In the name of Jesus, say as I think of good things, they happen to me. Say evil is far from me. In the name of Jesus, somebody give the Lord a shout. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Let your praise rise to him. Come on, come on, come on, come on. All over this place, let the Lord hear your voice. Show him that you are grateful. Show him that you are grateful. Show him that you are happy to see the new year. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We <laughs> some New Year praise for a few minutes and I'm just going to come back and prophesy over us and release us. The teaching will continue in the new year. <laughs> Is that okay? All right, are you ready to give the Lord some praise? Tell your neighbor I'm on eagle's wings. Say, watch me as I saw. Say, God is carrying me to my next level. Say, 2024, I'm on eagle's wings. Say, I'm not doing ordinary things. I'm doing supernatural stuff. Say, the power of God and the strength of God are available to me to do big stuff in the name of Jesus now I want to do this as we praise God right now I want you to trust God for something yeah this is this is this is this is how I can put it you know in the early hours of my birthday on the 28th I took a prayer walk and I was just hearing in my spirit, God size mind. Yeah. Somebody say after me, say God size mind. mind. Say it again, say God size mind. mind. You know one thing about God size mind? It does not know impossibility. Yeah. <laughs> and God size mind does not think small thinking, only big stuff. Will you lift your two hands with me today? Say 2024. 2024. I receive grace. I receive grace. To walk in with God's size mind. Say my mind will no longer be ordinary. Say I don't think small. I, don't think small. I, think, big. I think big. Say all things are possible. Things are possible. Say as I praise the God of possibilities. <laughs> this morning. The heavens open over me. I have God-sized mind. Say it again. Say, I have a God-sized mind. Are you ready to praise the God of possibilities? Just for a few minutes.